Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bringing you lot a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the integral of sine to the power of 3 x dx. What's that equal to? Right, before we jump into it, I want you lot to drop a like and subscribe. So let's get into this right now. So the way we solve this is we are going to take this and we're going to factor out a sine of x. And the reason for it is that is a lovely technique which we're going to use that involves trig identities. And it just renders this a lot better easier and a lot simpler to solve so we are going to take the sine of x and factor out from sine 3 of x so therefore we can write the integral as shown on your screen we are then going to look at the sine squared of x and we are going to apply a trig identity and the trig identity i'm referring to is that trig identity given as sine squared plus co squared of x is equal to one we are going to apply that and rewrite sine squared in terms of 1 minus cos squared of x. When it's in this format, as shown on your screen, it's basically a standard u substitution from this point. And what I mean by that is you are going to take a u, the u variable to be equal to cos of x. You then are going to take derivative on both sides of this equation. And then you are going to rewrite it in terms of d of x. Once it has been rewritten in terms of d of x, we are going to take this d of x term and substitute it inside the integral along with this u variable, which is equal to cos of x. So let's substitute the u's and du variables inside the integral so once they have sub been substituted in we are going to basically simplify and foil and remove any like terms basically so in this case we got sine of x that shows up in the numerator and we got one in the denominator so that's going to cancel out and we can rewrite the integral as follows on your screen everything is in terms of u and we are solving for the u variable at this point the negative is going to be moved outside the integral just to make it a bit simpler to solve and we are going to basically from here take the integral of this and this is just a standard power rule basically you're going to be applying it at you know whether one term is and then the negative u squared term so once you have basically applied the power rule from integral calculus you are going to have the negative multiplied you know don't forget this negative that sits outside the integral multiplied with u minus u to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus c plus some constant term once it has been rewritten like this you are you are going to take your u variable which is equal to cos of x and replace it inside the equation so once you have done that and you add your plus c term you have reached the final answer so if you lot enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later